Hello guys, this is Dakito One. I'm still on the border crisis. You know, there are a lot of things that are going on. Guys, I always say that don't forget to subscribe and share. If you are a newcomer here, you are welcome to Dakito One. Thanks for being part of the family. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and thank you anyone who has been part of the keto one from the one up to 12,000 subscribers you know i can't do it without you guys guys let me go straight to the point you know you know me when it is good i'm going to say it when it is bad i'm going to say it yeah there are a, a group of people at the uh Yakuma or uh kumba that is santiago california uh, that are helping the immigrants you know they are giving a support to the immigrants so this is the border of jacumba that is santiago in california exactly the border of mexico and uh california that is the united states border you know, there are a lot of people, local people, who have also put it in their heart or that it has tied their heart to also help the immigrants. You know, immigrants, let me tell you something. You walking all the way from, even from Nicaragua to get to Mexico and from Mexico to uh, uh, Mexico City and from Mexico City to uh, the all the way to United States border is not easy. It's not easy. So obviously, if you have a low uh, emotion, your body is not going to be accepted or it's not going to be adopted, especially if you are not that kind of person who always travel and it's your first time to leave your comfortable zone to be struggle to get to your dream country you're obviously going to suffer one way or other some circumstances you know you're not eating better you're not sleeping well you unable to rest enough even add up to give you complications at the end of the day so imagine someone who has traveled all the way from brazil to the forest, the jungle, uh, Darwin, uh, Darwin Forest, all the way to uh, Costa Rica, the Panama, to Costa Rica, Costa Rica, to Nicaragua, Nicaragua, uh, to Honduras, Honduras, to Guatemala, Guatemala, to Mexico, and all the way to uh, to United States. You know, it's not going to be easy for you. Raining on you, shining on you, you know, water changes, moving from one country to another, water changes, it's not going to be easy for you. So, some people are going to fall sick, others are going to develop sickness, others are going to, you know, get some sicknesses within them. So, some people, locals are also put on them just to help them. Do you understand? Just to, when you get there, they have medicals, they have uh, those who are giving you food, those who are giving you uh, dresses. Some people have wear their dress like three, four days or one week. So get here, you know, you see that they are giving them uh, dresses, they are giving them uh, food because some people have been living in the forest uh, in, with, with that road from Mexico border to uh, to United States. They have, been there, they have been there for like three days or two days before they are able to penetrate. So imagine, their body is smelling so they give them dresses and you see the tent over there there was a tent over there that was showing that's where they are going to hide themselves and change the body and put on the new clothes that they have been given to them so guys others locals are not happy with it other people are not happy with it why are the locals are helping them it means when they are doing that it means that they are supporting them to enter into the United States illegally. And guys, others are angry with it. So guys, 
give me your thoughts about this is it good for the locals to support them to help them give them food water shelter dresses you see a lot of water and a lot of drinks energy drinks are there given to them just for them to you know uh get something to to drink and get uh them getting better is it good or they should not help them and be of themselves what do you think guys just give me your thoughts about this at the comment section if you are from the united states give me your comment about this if you are from other country what is your thought about this is the local supposed to support the immigrants or the local supposed to chase the immigrants away give me your thought about it or those who are doing this because we have doctors in it that are they are going to check them who are those sick they are going to give them the, like face aid or something you know others are being going to be taken from there to go to their houses you know shelters uh ngos are here just to you know help them to get uh, a better place to stay better living you know better conditions there in the united states so guys i only came here just to give you this thought just to give you this insight you know all but some borders are closed but others are still open and people are passing through not only few people thousands and thousands and thousands of people are passing through so guys let me see your comments below let me know what your thought about it you see all these people are from different 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 countries and most of them are coming with a specific reason everyone here have its own reason of he or he being here or coming to the united states so guys i urge each and everyone to be very careful of what you do where you want to travel to you know i've had a lot of people who uh, uh travel and tour people who have taken people to uh how do you call it singapore and uh, others are taking they have taken them to uh, philippines and those who are even in cyprus and they are stuck and calling me guys travel wisely that's i always said travel wisely travel wisely don't forget to share comment let me know your comments below and also i want to know what is your thought where you want to travel to so guys don't forget to click on the bell button even though when you have subscribed and you haven't clicked the bell button yet this is the time for you to click on the bell button anytime i upload a video you'll be the first person to watch it so now they are going to take them to detention center and others the ngos will come here just to take them straight to detention uh uh the shortest just for them to you know take care you see the uh, border patrols are there but now the NGOs are also helping to take the people to the uh, the shelters just to you know help them out so guys there are a lot of things that are going on there are a lot of things that are happening so let me know where you're watching me from which country watching me from guys there are a lot are happening each and every single day i'll bring you more videos so for don't forget to subscribe share and let me know your thoughts about the locals who are helping the immigrants is it good for them to support or is bad for them to support the immigrants you see most of them here they are all sick i'm telling you i won't lie to you most of them here are all sick and they need help so guys i don't want this is my thought the locals if they have ways and means to support you see someone all his knees are broken so he's using crutches you know He's from all the way from different place and he has got into this place. You know, some people cannot even stand for a long time. So you see them sitting on the floor. 
The floor is dirty. The environment is very cold. But what are they going to do? They have no choice. They have no plan. They have nothing to do. The only thing you see, there's a camp. The only thing that they can do is just for them to be taken care of. So you see, someone is just relaxing, you know. Man, I'm just relaxing. My time will come. So guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Very important. It's only your support. This is the only thing you can use to support me. And don't forget, when the advert comes, just leave it, just leave it for some minutes for it to run so that I can also get coins from over here. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the other time.